This is the shoulder bag from Rothmere. This is the version 3 of the shoulder bag. And this is the medium size bag. Right now I have it fully loaded out, so it's kind of heavy. And I just want to show you this bag, how it looks. So I'm going to just move it around. And I hope you appreciate the beauty of this guy. This is one of my favorite um, sling bag. And you know, as a reviewer, I have used a lot of different sling. This one is very unique for many reasons. So it is, of course, handmade by Rolf Mia, which is basically a very, very small shop that a husband and wife own shop in Japan. So the bags are handmade. It is made of Dyneema, uh, five ounce Dyneema fabric. So it has this beautiful look and touch and subtlety to it. But the key thing about this bag that makes it so unique and nice is the shape. I hope I can give you a good feel of the shape by just um, doing a video like this. But on their website, they describe this bag as stone like or stone shape and that is true so you really have to appreciate the subtlety of the curves how the back is constructed and also how it feels so it feels organic which is what i like about this guy and a little bit of spoiler this thing fits really well on body so when you wear it it feel like it feels like there's nothing and it just kind of work now let me give you the spec so this is the medium size the version 3 medium size, it is 7.4 inches tall, 9 inches wide, and 4.9 inches deep. Or 19 centimeters tall, 23 centimeters wide, and 12 centimeters deep. The webbing is 38 um, millimeters. It is textured, but it's kind of smooth. So the bag just fits in the body, and when I Pull it to the front, it's just slide um, gently to the front. And then it has a magnetic buckle, so you can quickly remove the back that way. Uh, it is set up a loose back here, and there's a, a little strap keeper here to keep everything in place. So that is the outside of the bag. Now, so because this is a handmade item, it is um, rather expensive as of uh, this video it is 48,000 yen which is about 300 US dollars so this is um, May 2024 but I think of this not only as a functional piece of equipment but it is kind of a handmade piece of artwork anyway let me show you the organization inside the bag so let's take a look at the inside of this bag the back pocket is large enough for my iPhone 15 Pro Max a 6.7 inch phone I want to say uh, but I don't use it all the time what I do is mostly for the phone the inside has I would say average organization but let me take everything out and pack it back in and let me explain what I'm doing here So this is the organization. There is a back pocket and this is padded on the side and it's, I would say, mildly suspended because of the curve. It's a very, very nice leather trim detail here. And then the front, two pockets. This is kind of a stretchy, mashy material that is very, very thick. So it's mashy, but not um, thin. And then there is this strange pocket, if you like, that doesn't have a bottom. Again, it is padded. This thing is here because it's designed uh, to be used as a camera bag. So you can actually put a lens here and then the rest of the gear in the middle. So this is a setup which is quite useful. Actually, let me open this a little bit more. Quite useful. But the way I packed it up maybe is a little different. So I have wallet and a notebook in the back. I believe the back will fit a iPad mini, but I don't have one and definitely it will fit a um, Kindle. And then, and because I'm a reviewer, I tend to move my stuff between bags a lot. So I like to use a organizer. So this is uh, one from Muji. These things are great. So I have some 
frequently needed item is allergy seasons, a pen, a, a pretty cool phone holder, and then they just kind of go in the middle. I put all my essentials, uh, medical stuff in this pouch. So this goes in the top pocket here. And then my keys, sometimes I would put it over here because these days my um, car just need my key fob to be around me where I don't have to take it out and my house has an electronic lock. So this is really, I just need to have this with me. So either this goes into here or it just go randomly somewhere. I basically do not need to access it. What's cool is I often film these days with my DJI um, Osmo Action 3. And this guy fits perfectly in this little pocket. And then the, uh, the stand and the extra battery setup can fit over here. And that is a very well packed up uh, bag that still has a lot of room. So if you look at it, Basically, the center part is still available. And then I can zip this guy up. And it is good to go. Now I wanna show you um, the bag on body. So let's go. <laughs> 